There's never been a more exciting time. Go Bruin. Democracy. The polls have closed and counting is underway. Bringing an end to the longest election campaign in a generation. I think the whole country is glad that this is finally over. And our departure board is ready to go. I think it's probably time to fire up the pressure. We'll have to wait a little bit longer before so, I'll call the So again. you're not quite ready to call I'm it. not calling it. <laughs> Any one by one vote. <laughs> one down, 149 to go. I think what we're going to see tonight is a lot of different results in different states. I do think that this is one of those elections where you're going to see state variations. Yeah. I agree with him. I think that uh, tonight th there are some real uh, potential wild cards. Tasmania is actually a bit of a story which has, has taken me a little bit by surprise. That looks like three seats at Braddon, Bass and Lyons. <laughs> Smart all the way. Brett Whiteley, another Bradley Tasmanian Liberal. You do the crusher. <laughs> Promising for you. This early day. signs. Tasmania has a better chance under Labor. It's a Labor state. You're a power kind of maker, Jackie. In your, in your thinking on that. Jackie. <laughs> so a swing of 7%. Were you hoping for more than that? That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> that'll do. If we do that nationally, that'll cockle doodle do. <laughs> Queensland has always been the big swing state. Peter Peter Costello. Costello. Let's have a look at Victoria next. A 1.8% swing to Labor, so that's a little bit smaller. Opposing the CFA is 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 like killing Bambi. Polls have only just closed here in Western Australia. Cowan's very important for us to win. And Ali, she has managed to get a swing in her favour of 4.3%. Please don't write me off yet, because <laughs> uh, it's going to be a, a uh, you know a fight to fight to the death. In the fashion. Riggs from uh, Solomon Crushed. in the Northern Territory. Crushed. I can see seats that Labor can win in New South Wales. Barnaby jo uh, Joyce has declared victory right. in New England. Thanks yeah. for the advertising, Johnny. Thanks <laughs> for the advertising. Mum's down the back there, very close to the bar, I believe. That's a well-known Abbott trait. The early signs for Labor are very, very encouraging indeed. Oh, here's Marcus from Macquarie. I didn't oh. expect her to lose tonight, but uh, she's... Should have run me, Laurie. She's gone. Fiona Scott is ejected after being rejected by the electorate. There is a sea of red across uh, the inner west and the western, southwestern suburbs of Sydney, and Barton's in the middle of that sea of red. They have declared that you have just won the seat of Brain Brown. Oh. Hey. Well done. That was early. Can you take us through Eden Monero? So I see from your stock of semi-inflated red balloons behind you that you are cautiously optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I guess we, you could say we're buoyant. It will, for the first time in, what, 44 years, go to the party most likely to form opposition. Mike Kelly, welcome back to the Federal <laughs> Parliament. What a great win that is. There's another... Oh, uh, there's not, a, there's no, a turn no, no. Oh, Look at how close it is. Our home state of South Australia at this stage seems to be mounting quite a rebellion against the coalition. Look at that big vote for other. Now that other is largely Nick Xenophon, the Xenophon parties. But I think in South Australia there is a phenomenon called the Nick Xenophon team and uh, people are turning to it. Uh, I don't understand it. I, I seriously don't. The name I'd like to morph to, change to is at least we're not as bad as the others party. I can tell you as well that Jamie Briggs, the member for Mayo, has just tweeted his concession in that seat. I feel like a journalist here, Mark. I'm in shock. I'm in shock. I doubt that that's the last we've seen of Jamie Briggs in politics. There he goes. I think it's a very close election and it's still cl too close to call the election. The ABC will not be calling the result of this election this evening. Hey, at this stage of the night, the government has its nose in front. And I think that's a pretty close, that's, a, that's strong, a strong statement to make. I wouldn't write Labour off yet. At this stage of the night, it's more likely than not now that the country will have a hung parliament. I, I don't think people should get ahead of themselves on those sorts of things. There's a good chance that we'll be still um, trying to work out who's won this election tomorrow uh, and maybe even longer than that. I think the Labour victory is very unlikely. 
the issue here now is whether or not Malcolm Turnbull can govern in a majority or a minority. Um, that's the marker that I think we now should be focusing on. Quite clearly, this double D has been a disaster in terms of if you're about stability and the government having more senators, they're going to have less. There is the potential to go back for another election. We've just had an eight-week campaign. What do, you, what, what do you want a few? You want a few more weeks? You, you, you're not quite tired of it yet. I, oh, I could, I could go another eight. Let's go again. No worries. <laughs> this result is a lot of mistakes by a lot of people. I actually think this is a recipe for um, instability. It's it's just terrific to be here with the Liberal family. The people who are angry that uh, Tony Abbott got the chop will use this, they'll start using it tomorrow. This is not a good night for Malcolm Turnbull and the Liberal Party. The man should resign. The PM SMS me just to say that uh, he's, uh, he's waiting for more results to come through. Andrew Bolt is already <laughs> saying that Malcolm Turnbull should just resign now, tonight. What's your response to that? No, I, did, I, I disagree with that. This is a disgrace. <laughs> Well, the election is over, only the counting remains. We will not know the outcome of this election tonight. Indeed, we may not know it for some days to come. All will depend on the counting, and we await the, uh, the completion of that. But there is one thing for sure. The Labor Party is back. Thank you all very much. Thank you very much for your support and hard work.